Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. And on our prayer request today, Becky's tumor came back and they found another cancer in her back. Pray the doctor can help her. Teresa's brother had a blood clot in his brain which caused a stroke. He had two surgeries and another on Thursday. Pray he'll be okay and get better. Uh, YC's son, Ben, fractured the fibula on his ankle. When the swelling uh, goes down, he'll be fitted for a cast. Pray he'll be okay and for a quick recovery. Okay, I'll need an update on Gary. Uh, he, he said he thought he had kidney stones, but I, I haven't heard back from him, so I don't know what to... So Gary, let us know how it went. Uh, are you okay now and everything, or does it was it uh, kidney stones? Pray for Rico. He's in the hospital. Kenny Ross has a mass on one of his shoulders, and doctors are positive it's cancer because it's consuming his shoulder bones. Pray they can help him. Kim has an unspoken request. Twyla needs prayer for a sale. Thurl is having a procedure for a blocked artery. Pray all goes well and for a quick recovery. Okay. Oh yeah, in our car, it's still making a noise, um, but we can't get there until, we I mean, can't go until after the first of the month and see what's going on with it. We have the oil changes and stuff too. Okay, our scripture of the day comes from Deuteronomy 5 1 through 11 Moses summoned all Israel and said hear Israel the decrees and laws I declare in your hearing today learn them and be sure to follow them the Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb it was not with our ancestors that the Lord made this covenant but with us with all of us who are alive here today the Lord spoke to you face to face out of the fire on the mountain. At that time, I stood between the Lord and you to declare to you the word of the Lord because you were afraid of the fire and did not go up the mountain. And he said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven or above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Okay. Okay, and our devotion today is entitled, Staying on Track with God. Let me get a drink of water. Okay, years ago, a train carrying 218 people derailed in northwestern Spain, killing 79 people and hospitalizing 66 more. The driver couldn't explain the accident, but the video footage could and did. The train was going far too fast before it hit a deadly curve. The allowable speed limit had been created to protect everyone on board the train. Despite being a 30-year veteran of Spain's National Rail Company, however, the driver had, for whatever reason, ignored the speed boundary, and many people lost their lives. In Deuteronomy 5, Moses reviewed God's original covenant boundaries for his people. Moses encouraged a new generation to regard God's instruction as their own covenant with him. And then he restated the Ten Commandments by repeating the commandments and drawing lessons from the previous generation's disobedience. Moses invited the Israelites to be reverent, humble, and mindful of God's faithfulness. God had made a way for his people so they wouldn't wreck their lives or the lives of others. If they ignored his wisdom, they would do so at their own peril. Today, as God leads us, let's make all of Scripture our delight counselor and the guardrail for our lives. 
And as the Spirit guides us, we can keep on track within His wise protection and devote our lives wholeheartedly to Him. When do God's boundaries seem strict rather than liberating? How do His boundaries show His love for you? Dear God, help me to show my love for you through my obedience to you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with the different needs. And Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everybody, and God bless.